Well, Medina Spirit wouldn't be the first Kentucky Derby winner to be qualified for a drug test. That title belongs, unfortunately, to Dancer's Image in the 94th Kentucky Derby, 1968. The night team's Tom Lally tonight is talking to the daughter of the man who owned Dancer's Image. In some ways, history is repeating itself. On the backdrop of the Vietnam War, social unrest, and the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. came a scandal at the Kentucky Derby. Dancer's Image was first under the wire, but tests indicated that he had been given an illegal medication. There was always a sense of we've, we've got to fight this. Abby Fuller was there in the winner's circle with Dancer's Image. Her father, Peter Fuller, owned the horse. Just like Bob Baffert, Fuller claims he did not give the horse the anti-inflammatory drug. A bona fide horse racing mystery. And in 1968, there were politics at play. Fuller had donated a recent purse worth thousands of dollars to a grieving Coretta Scott King. Believe it or not, he was heavily criticized for that in, in racing circles. Foul play was never proven, but Fuller fought the commission and the appellate courts for four years, losing that battle and fighting the public opinion until his death in 2012. Is Baffert now set for that same fate? There are certainly already parallels. Both horses tested positive for anti-inflammatory drugs. Phenobutazone, or Butte as it's known, found in Dancer's Image, and Betamethasone, found in Medina Spirit. Both were legal to give to a horse, but not while racing. Basically, they'll follow the same course. After a hearing, the stewards will make a decision, possibly fining or suspending the trainer, disqualifying the horse, and taking away the purse. Baffert can appeal that to the full racing commission, which will likely uphold the stewards' decision as they did for Dancer's Image. Then, Baffert can appeal to the Franklin Circuit Court, where Fuller actually won the case, publishing a full-page ad reclaiming his horse as the winner. But he eventually lost in the court of appeals. Could Kentucky versus Baffert take a similar path? The world of racing is now watching. For WHAS, I'm Tom Lally.